Hello class, welcome back to our math lessons. I am so glad that you've joined me here in my garden for a math lesson. Hmm, how can we do math in my garden? Well, today we are learning how to cut an object in half. And I thought it would be fun to cut some of the fruit and vegetables that are growing in my garden and learn one half by cutting some fruit. Hmm, this is my plum tree and I have really enjoyed eating the plums from my tree. And here is a plum. I am gonna cut it in half. Now, if I were to cut my plum in half, would I just cut this little piece off here on the end? No. When I cut things in half, I'm gonna cut it into two pieces and both pieces are going to be even or equal. So I'm gonna get closer so that you can see me. I am going to cut my plum and I am gonna cut it right in half. Hmm, I'm gonna cut it down the middle so that my two pieces are about the same size. Hmm, do those look like they're about the same size? They do, they are equal. So this would be one half of my plum. And this would be one half of a plum. When we put them together, it makes one plum. When we cut something in half, we cut it into two equal pieces. Hmm, I'm wondering if there's anything else in my garden that I could cut into two equal pieces. I don't think they'll be as yummy as my plums. Class, here are some of my tomato plants. Can you see a nice ripe tomato? Here it is. I think we should try cutting this in half. I was able to pick such a big basket of yummy fruit and vegetables. Hmm. The tomato, let's cut this tomato in half. When we cut something in half, do you remember how many pieces we cut it into? Is it three? It's four, wasn't it? You're right, it's two. When we cut something in half, we cut it into two equal pieces. So, hmm, there we go. I cut my tomato. It's in half, right? This half and this half. Hmm, something's not right about this. What's wrong? You're right. These aren't equal pieces at all. This one is way too tiny. I mean, if we were sharing, I think you'd be pretty sad that I only cut you a small little piece. When we cut in half, we cut it into two pieces, but... We try to make them as equal as we can. One half is one out of the two pieces that we need to make one. And the two pieces are equal. Hmm, this is one of my yummy tomatoes that I grew this year. I wonder what else we could find. Here's a fruit that maybe you've never seen before. I'm gonna pick one. These are called, these are called ground cherries. You open up the husk and the fruit is right inside. Hmm, do you think we could cut this in half? Hmm, I have to try to make it even and cut it right in half. That's what a ground cherry looks like inside. When we cut something in half, we make two pieces. One, two. And they need to be uh, even. They need to be the same size. 
Ooh, let's look at this pretty part of my garden. I have peppers and lots and lots of nasturtium flowers. And I am gonna pick a green pepper. Hmm. Have you ever bought green peppers from the store before? If I were to cut it in half, it would need to be into two pieces. And could I just cut this little piece over here? No, I need to make sure when I cut it in half that the two pieces are equal. Hmm, let's do that. I'm gonna cut it right down the center. So my one green pepper breaks into two pieces, one half and another half. When we have two halves, we put them together to make one. Hmm, do you have anything at home that you can cut in half? Maybe you could break your granola bar in half. Or you could break one of your cookies in half. Or maybe someone at home would let you use a knife, maybe not a sharp one, and you could cut an apple in half. Hmm, do you remember that when we cut something in half, it needs to have two pieces, and they should be equal or even. Class, thank you so very much for visiting with me in my garden today. Thank you for helping me cut tomatoes in half and green peppers in half and plums. I don't have it because it was so yummy that I ate it. And for cutting some grand cherries in half. I want you to remember that when we cut something in half, it means the one thing gets broken into two pieces. And those pieces need to be even. I hope that you have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.